Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. My dear children, how are you? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you barakah. A very, very easy, happy, healthy, long life full of good deeds and with strong iman on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen. Okay, children, before telling you anything, I'm going to say the dua which is going to make it easy for me to tell you the things and it is going to be easy for you to understand. And that dua is Rabbi shrahli sadri wa yassirli amri wa hlul uqdatam min lisani yafqahu qawli Rabbana zidna ilma. Ameen. Okay, my dear children, I promised you that I'm going to tell you something about Jannah. That is our real house to live where we are going to stay alive forever no sickness no sadness uh, no disturbance no limits only happiness is going to be there and that is going to be the house of peace that is why it is called darus salam the house of peace and that is our reward of doing good in this dunya Okay, Papa. So in this dunya, we only and only have to follow the instructions. And the instructions are in Quran. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us what to do to protect ourselves. Quran is filled with the instructions. With If we follow those instructions, then we are going to protect ourselves and save ourselves from any hardship or um uh, harm let's say the way your parents tell you you know when you come inside the house close the door lock it and if someone knocks at the door you have to uh, ask who that person is only open when you know who the person is uh, that is your mom or your dad or your brother or sister don't open the doors door for the stranger like your parents give you uh, the instructions why because they want your protection. They want you to be safe. Right? Isn't that so? The same way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us Quran. And in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us how to keep ourselves safe. Right? And on top of that Quran is filled with the description of the, uh, the Jannah. Where we have to go. And we are going to get all the rewards in Jannah. And... It is filled with the things that we wish for. My dear children, in this dunya, the things that we we think that those things are good for us, they might be harmful. And when we get something which we really like, it breaks. Sometimes it gets out of order, it gets bra broken, or we get bored of it after some time. And we don't even want to look at it and it becomes like a burden in our room. We can't throw it because it is too expensive. We don't want to play it because we are bored. And that is uh, keeping that space. So uh, in this dunya, every single thing is needs to go. And it's, it's not permanent. It's temporary. And our liking is temporary. Like if I give you pizza, you would say, Oh my God, this is my favorite pizza. I would say, okay, eat. Then you'll eat. And then I'll say, eat more. And you'll say, okay, thank you. And you'll eat more. But a time will come when you will say, I am going to barf if I eat more. I, I don't like to eat anymore. This is too much for me. And I don't feel like eating. And then if I give you the, the same pizza every single day, a time will come. A time will come when you would say that I don't even like this food anymore. I don't like the smell of it and I don't want to see it. So my children, this dunya is filled with the things, the likings and the enjoyment which is, which is temporary. It is not, it doesn't stay for long. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give us Jannah which is going to be permanent. Over there, every single thing is permanent. And there are so many enjoyable things about Jannah that if I am going to tell you, you are going to wish for it and you're going to say that, oh my God, I, I wait for that place, inshallah. Now, the only thing is that 
uh, we can reach janna uh, we have to go away from this this place uh, think of this dunya as uh, uh, an airport right to go to your own home when you go visit some country you have to go back to your own home right and you have to go to the airport now you don't sit in the uh, uh, in the airport saying that this is my house now i want my bed over here i want my uh, room to be set over here and i want my kitchen over here people are going to say are you crazy this is not your home this is a temporary place where you are sitting and you have to uh, go back to your own home this dunya is like the airport if you try to say that this is my home i love it i want to stay over here forever then that is a crazy thing to say we have our own home which is permanent we are, where we are going to go we are going to relax we are going to enjoy we are going to be uh, uh, safe uh, in there now janna my children is filled with your wishes in this dunya you fulfill the wishes of allah subhanahu wa taala in janna allah subhanahu wa taala is going to f- uh, fulfill your wishes this dunya is very temporary but janna is permanent hmm? over there you can have your own territory yes your home is going to be so big as a territory a land where you can make whatever you like you you wish for it and that thing is going to be made you'll wish for a food and that food is going to be yours you want to go and meet your friends nobody can stop you nobody would stop you and say oh you have to come back at this time you have to be back no sleepovers nobody is going to say anything to you you can go have fun there is no sleep in jannah because if you sleep you are going to miss out on uh, the fun of jannah sometimes when you wish to go to your friends and you want to talk to them but you sleep on the sofa because you're so tired in jannah there is no uh, like uh, tired uh, tiredness no tiredness you won't you'll play and you'll have fun and you're going to visit and you're going to ask your friends over and you can have as many food items as you like and you can have rivers in front of your house because it is said in the quran that you you are going to have whatever you you can wish for whatever comes in your heart is going to be yours no matter if it is a huge airplane or a, a lot of cars a lot of toys amusement park your own amusement park your own river that is going to flow in front of your uh, house and if you don't like it you can uh, say that i don't want it and it is going to go you can have as many ice creams as you like and there won't be any uh, stomach ache <laughs> no sickness in janna no sickness in janna you're not going to get sick like you can eat your uh, shawarmas and you can eat your pizzas and you can eat your ice creams and whatever you wish for and you won't get t- sick and you know how there are no washrooms oh my god that's the best part of janna no washrooms you don't have to have the stomach ache and then go to the washroom and stay there for a very long time and no 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 there is no filth in janna so <coughs> how are you going to uh, digest the food the food is going to be di- digested prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us that there uh, you are going to sweat and the sweat is not going to f- uh, have bad smell it is going to uh, uh, smell like perfume and your food is going to be digested and no fear no limits no restrictions no homework no school uh, uh uh what do you say you can go wherever you like you can play for as long as you want to you can ask your friends to come over you can go to your friends no restrictions no sadness no sadness go- is going to be there allah subhanahu wa taala told us that there are four types of river in jannah one is of uh, sharba sharbat like um uh uh like you uh, the drink like one is water what is uh, honey and one is milk so you can have whatever you like and you can't even imagine the taste of them those rivers so uh if you want to have your own uh, whatever you are going to wish for is going to be yours that's the most important thing 
and like in this dunya you have your school work your uh, quran class your uh, your uh, uh, what do you say uh, football training your this training that training and you get so tired there is no tiredness in jannah it is all fun it is peace it is uh, ever living like all your life we fear oh my god i wish that my parents are going to live forever but they can't in this dunya they can't there is going to be a time when every single person has to go this is like the airport we have to go to our real house which is full of fun so we are not scared of dying we are looking at our real how we have to go through that uh, door to reach our jannah a real house so over there nobody is going to die nobody is going to get sick nobody is going to get tired nobody is going to get hurt nobody is going to have fear nobody is going to be scared nobody is going to do bad to you no bad words no bullying uh no sadness it's all fun and it's all happiness and all our uh, uh, uh parents and whoever has done good deeds are going to be around us and we are going to have fun inshallah so all your life you need to make one dua which is really important allahumma inni as'aluka al-jannat al-firdaus al-a'la oh allah i want the highest jannah highest level of jannah because in jannah there are going to be levels like you live in um uh, there are some rich areas uh, there are some best areas and then there are good areas jannah is all good it's not nobody is going to be poor but you know there are going to be best uh, levels too so you wish for the best one okay so allahumma inni as'alukal jannatul firdaus al-a'la hmm inshallah bitna allah from today you have to make this dua every time at least three times you ask allah subhanahu wa taala and seek protection from the hell fire say allah subhanahu wa taala i don't want to go there i don't want to see that i don't want to do any deeds uh, uh, which are going to lead to that uh, punishment no 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 allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhab jahannam allahumma inni a'udhu bika min adhab jahannam and ask for jannatul firdaus ilala inshallah bi'idhni allah with the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us so much that he gives us the opportunity to good de- do good deeds but you know what we miss them so many times when our parents are saying um, can you please give me a glass of water we say okay i'm sitting i don't want to get up that is the best rewarding deed go run say mom i'm gonna give you the glass of water and when your parents are sitting look at them smile allah's going to give you jannah for that inshallah bi idhni allah get so happy when you make your parents happy hmm love them appreciate them kiss them hug them tell them every day that you really 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 uh, you are thankful to them you love them so much make them happy don't bother them don't tease them they are the easiest way to jannah they are the easiest doors to jannah okay and be truthful helpful and uh, you know uh, put yourself aside and uh, uh, give more importance to others allah loves those people who give and they don't um, uh, what do you say uh, boast about their good deeds allah loves those people who keep on doing good deeds one after another helping sharing giving not being selfish selfish people are not going selfish and arrogant people are not going to go into jannah just remember that selfish arrogant people no 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 we don't want to be one of those no 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 we want to be humble and sharing and giving and caring we need to be those people who have these qualities inshallah bitnillah i love you so much and i wish that inshallah and we make dua to allah subhanahu wa taala that we are all going to go to jannah holding each other's hands and entering jannah together and enjoying and seeing every day in jannah each other and uh, congratulating that alhamdulillah we did well we asked allah subhanahu wa taala for jannah and we did good deeds which were not enough 
to earn jannah but still our rab our creator is so merciful that he granted us this reward alhamdulillah inshallah we'll see each other over there if we can see in this dunya because you might be sitting in different parts of the world but inshallah bidnillah the love of allah is same in my heart in your heart we love allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we seek allah's love and his forgiveness we say allahumma inni as'aluka hubbaka wallah we want your love to be in our hearts right so that we'll be able to do more good deeds allah loves those people who do good deeds we want to be one of those inshallah bi'idnillah barakallahu feekum may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you a lot of opportunities to do good deeds ameen subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaika assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah